Hey guys, it's BEP2009Jet, and I'm here today with a tutorial video for how to install mods and skins. Now, if you look back to my previous video, which is on screen now that you might remember, if you haven't, then go check it out. It's all very simple. That also shows, uh, also shows how to install ELS V6. Sorry about the Skype there. Um, V6 and V7 are very similar. There's other tutorials out there, so just go check them out. Um, but I'll just be showing you the differences in installing cars in OpenIV and SparkIV because many people have questioned me about SparkIV and that it's out of date and that I don't. I, I always reply to people I don't use SparkIV anymore. I use OpenIV. So today we're just going to be installing this DCP uh, Crown Vic that I already have installed as my Police One input. So we're just going to go to, into OpenIV now. This works with every car. Uh, just episodes from Liberty City because that's the vehicle I use. Just let it connect, start. Um, so this is yeah, this is just be a short little video because the other one went for longer and I showed the end product. So as you can see this is a bit different from the other interface of Spark IV. And now once in, um, if you want to go into your episodes from Liberty City Vehicles, they're here. That's the Battle of the Gay Tony, that's the Lost and the Damned. But considering Police One is just in the main, um, excuse me, the main, what is it, the main folder, main, it's a Grand Theft Auto 4 original car, in just the original GTA 4. Uh, it's just in CDI images, vehicles.img. And then you can scroll down here till you find the police vehicle, or you can go up to search this top bar if you didn't see me click, and then just type police. And now police one and two are here. So uh, if you click edit mode, everything in edit mode um, automatically saves. So once you change it, it is changed for you know basically forever. You can it's always safer to make backups of your folders um, just to be sure. So we'll just click yes. So we're automatically in um, edit mode now. If we open this, this is my skin and the vehicle is already installed. But for you know demonstration purposes, so here we go down to edit. No, we don't. That's for skin. Sorry, replace. Now once in replace, uh, we'll go to desktop, which is where it's held. We're already in desktop, I think. And here's the folder that we're looking for, the DCP. Uh, without. Okay, so then we we'll just click that. It's automatically replaced it. Obviously, this doesn't help because it was already made. But it's as simple as that, and then you do the same with the WTD file, and you just click on that. Now, um, I'll just chuck in how to do skins. So, if you double click on there, or if you right click and go edit, so we'll do that if you would have seen that before as well. Just edit, this will open, uh, we'll just go down to a skin, which should be coming up. Where is it? Sorry, just so you can probably hear my headset. Right, there we go. Go, that is an old skin. Police I'm one, I have it in. Police, why is it not showing? Police, whoa. That's not my skin at all, so I don't know why it's done that. But maybe we can go police two, replace. Uh, desktop. Yeah, what do I have? GTA 4. Skinning, skin edits, is it? No. Where have I put it? Um, is it? Oh, maybe it's in. No, it's. Where Where have I put it? It's not in the folder, is it? Um, do, 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 do. Oh, um, well, I'll get back to you when I find this folder. Oh, silly me, here it is, right down here in the bottom of the folder, Broker Duke CVPI. So we just click that, that's automatically just, oh, it's a bit dodgy skin making there. It's just replace the skin, you just click save. It'll take a little bit, like Spark IV. It doesn't always, some people's computer it will run nicely automatically, mine used to, and now it's decided to do that. So then we just open police again. The <laughs> it's actually showing the other skin now because I installed that other one as police too. But that's just, that's the example, that's how you change a skin, that's how you change a model, and uh, 
the rest of the information is still valid in my other video. So if you have any further info, um, any further doubts, just go check out that video, and just get out of edit mode and close this. Thank you for watching very much. I will see you uh, for another video. See you later, guys.